Hey, good morning, church. Hope everyone's having a great morning so far, and I hope everyone had a great uh, Thanksgiving last week. Um, I hope everyone had a lot of good food and a nice, relaxing break from just the stresses of life, right? So we're in Psalm uh, 133 today, and I'm going to be honest, this one was pretty tough for me. I mean, it's only three verses, um, and, and they, they don't seem to flow very well um, first looking at it, right? And so if we want to jump on in, verse 1 says, How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. So first of all, we can take that verse alone, take it out, and look at it and just agree. I'm obviously agree. Um, how good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. You know, living together in harmony, no matter Christian or um, co-workers who aren't Christian, or like in the church, between uh, Christian to Christian, you know, it doesn't matter what aspect of life. It's, it's a good, I mean, if, if you're working with somebody, you guys are working good together, you know, obviously life is going to be better, right? And so you can take that verse out, you can study through it, and you can really see what it's like to live in harmony, what it's like to when brothers live together in harmony, right? But, but you can't forget verses 2 and 3, right? So verse 2 says, it is like fine wool on the head, running down on the beard, running down Aaron's beard onto his robes, right? And then verse 3 says, it is like the dew of Hermon falling on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord has appointed the blessing life forevermore, right? So... Um, I had a little bit of trouble relating verses two and three together, right? Oil, fine oil on the beard, or on the head, running down on the beard, right? And so, uh, obviously, back back in biblical times, New Old Testament times, um, anointing people with oil, especially really nice oil on the head, was a big deal, right? And so, um, we we're actually studying through Exodus on our Wednesday night Bible study. So, uh, if you guys aren't coming, I encourage you guys to come. It's been great studying through Exodus um, slowly. But running through down Aaron's beard and onto his robes, you know, he, he had high priestly robes, right? So they were something of important and significance, right? So um, running, final oil going from the head to the beard down to his robes, right? And then verse 3 says, it's like the dew of Hermon falling on the mountains of Zion. If you guys don't know, Hermon is a mountain and Zion is a mountain and they are not very close together, right? And so... The dew of Hermon falling on the mountains of Zion, that's kind of unheard of, right? So so dew from this mountain way over here doesn't normally fall on dew all the way over here, right? Or on this mountain over here, right? And so reading through this, I had trouble, um, you know, coming up with, with how they relate. But, you know, the end of verse 3, for there the Lord has appointed the blessing, life forevermore. And so you can't forget verse 1 in all of this. So 2 and 3 get confusing. 1, it seems pretty simple. 2 and 3 get kind of confusing. The end of 3 is like, okay, yeah, God has appointed the blessing life forevermore, right? So that's that's good, right? But how does it relate to the other things, right? And so when you look at it, so all going from the head to the beard to um, his robes, right? And then going from Her Mount of Hermon to Mount Zion, right? And so there's a lot of space from the head to the clothes and a lot of space between Zion to, uh, or Hermon to Zion, right? And so when, when you look at the body, you know, throughout the Bible, we see that the body is the temple, right? And then, and then going from the head to beard, robes, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, spots there, right? There's a lot of things going on. And so same thing with Hermon to Zion, there's a lot of things going on in between. For the Lord has appointed the blessing life forevermore because, God has designed our bodies and our our um, livelihood and, and how we react with other people, how we interact with other people, a specific way. You know, God created everything perfectly, and sin comes in and interrupts everything, but for the Lord has appointed the blessing life forevermore because how good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. So, you know, things that we're supposed to work together a certain way. God created us, our bodies to work a certain way. God created us to react a certain way with our fellow Christians, with non-Christians, you know. Um, there's a lot of interaction, there's a lot of minute details going on within our bodies, within life in general, that when things work together in harmony, things just go so much better, and God has blessed it, life forevermore, for that specific reason, and has, has created us for those specific ways. So I hope this kind of, this this going through this helped you out a little bit, and I hope you guys, you know, get something new out of it, and, um, you know, just, this is, like I said, this is a rough couple of verses, even though it's only three verses, it's kind of rough for me, but um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and that this, God really blesses this with you. So God bless. Have a good day.